Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to take a file that was created in Canva or a Canva document and take it over into Microsoft Word without the fonts disappearing or changing. Now the simple way to do this is to save the document as PDF and then you could come to Microsoft Word, you could go to File, let me just save you, save the document and show you. So let's go to share. This is Canva. This is our working uh, space that we are using to design or edit the file. This design here is actually something I'm doing for my friend. She owns a candle company called SB Luxury Scents. I'll link her site in the description box down below in case you love candles. Her scents are really amazing. You could check her out. But what I'll do is go to share and I'll download and I'll click file type and then not PDF print. I'll click um, PDF standard and I'll download it. Now we could come to Microsoft Word and we could click open browse. Go to downloads and the most recent download will open that. Now it's just telling you here blah blah blah. Um, things will happen. Things basically it's saying Word will now convert your PDF to an editable Word document. This may take a while. The resulting Word document will be optimized to allow you to edit the text. So it might not look exactly like the original PDF especially if the original file contained a lot of graphics and this is the issue that we are having converting a canva file into a microsoft word file right so we're just gonna click ok now let's zoom out and look at the difference now if we go back to canva and we just move that there we'll see that this box and the white frame around the box is missing from what we imported into Microsoft Word. It's, it's just not even there in the least bit. Let me just zoom up to ensure I'm seeing the right thing, right? It's, it's just not there. And that's an issue that we're having. That's why I'm making this video for you to get over that. So let's close this. We wanna go to File, Close, and we're going to go back to Canva. Now the first issue is that the font is different. Now the name of this font is called Migra. And if you go to Microsoft Word and you go to File, let's open a new um, page. And we look for the font Migra. It's, it's just not there. It's, it's not there. So even if you use like a PDF converter, the PDF converter may not even get the files, may not even get the fonts to come over anyway. It may disappear. So what we'll do, the first thing I would recommend is simply changing the fonts. So something that Word already has. So Times New Roman is always a popular font, right? Another popular font in Word would be um, Century Gothic or maybe Arial Narrow or Arial Broad or something. So I just, just, I clicked Handmade. I went up to the font section and I typed in Times, Times New Roman and Times New Roman Conde came up I wanted Times New Roman I click that the font changed it looks very similar to the font that was there called Migra before no the font candles is Aileron I doubt that that is in Microsoft Word I'm not even going to look for it so let's use something like uh, Arial Narrow let's see if because you know that's another popular font uh, in Word so Let's click that, All right? And now we have candles in Arial Narrow. And now we're ready to do this all over again. But instead, 
of using Microsoft Word to import the documents, we're going to use something called um, ilovepdf.com uh, slash PDF underscore to underscore Word, or you could just come right up here where it says convert PDF. You could choose a host of things. Um, you could even convert from Word to PDF, etc. So what we want is PDF to Word. We already clicked that. So now we're going to go back to Canva and we're going to go click share at the top right hand corner. We're going to click download. Uh, we're going to select file type with the PDF standard and we're going to download this again. Now we're going to go back to uh, ilovepdf.com. We're going to select PDF file. And we're going to search for that file that we downloaded, that PDF file that we downloaded from Canva. We're going to go to downloads or wherever your downloads go. And it's going to be the most recent file. I'm going to click OK or open. And then we're going to click at the bottom right here. We're going to click convert to Word. Now it's asking you some questions here. Are you trying to convert a scanned PDF? Blah, blah, blah. Just ignore that. Just um, click continue without OCR. Your PDF has been converted to an editable Word document. We're going to click download Word. And now we're going to go to our down. We could either go to our download folder or we could take it from up here or downloads. It depends on which are you have I'm using the new Chrome all of a sudden they started putting the downloads back to the top right hand corner uh, so we could just um, click you see the word logo here and then it has the name of the file we just click that we wait for it to open and there you have it voila <laughs> your font scheme your images scheme everything is there just as though you did it in canva i hope you liked this video you should subscribe to the channel for everything right is off word tutorials only and i will see you in the next video bye bye now